Welcome to St. Paul TV, a production of the Media and Technology Ministry of St. Paul AME Church. The vision of our ministry is to build upon the whole person by providing theologically sound biblical teaching, effective worship, commitment to family, and an emphasis on understanding personal purpose. Our church school begins at 9.30 on Sunday morning. Worship service begins at 10.45. We have Bible study every Wednesday at 6 o'clock p.m. Thanks for stopping by and enjoy a word from God. Old from the soul, so we hope that this blesses his spirit. I'm a soldier. You see, I'm here.
God who drafted me. Amen. Thank God who drafted me. Amen. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Bless you, ladies. I, I thank you. I love you. Uh, I, I want to thank my, my family and friends for coming out to support me. But uh, also, I want to thank my St. Paul family. Amen. Amen. I think you died not for about a year. Uh, God has been good to me. And uh, I just thank y'all for your nurturing, your nurturing and, and, and just, just coming into your family and just accepting me for who I am. Amen. Uh, Amen. I want to thank my uh, my first lady, Mama Ross, for always just talking to me and giving me a word of encouragement and keeping me humble. Uh, well. I'm not going to I'm not going to go in and, and my pastor knows how I feel about him. I really don't want to talk about him because when I talk about him, he breaks me down because of uh, what, what, he's, what he's been to me. So, so God answer my prayers and son to me. But on that note, uh, let's look at the Word of God. The Word of God, they call from Jonah 1, verse 1 through 3. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. But Jonah, Jonah rose to feed unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord, and he went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare, therefore, and went down into it, to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Yeah. The title of today's word is Get in the Game. Come on now. Get, get, in, get the in the Game. game. Get in the game. I, I, I look at this thing, this scripture, I, and, and I read Jonah, and I look at Jonah, and me and Jonah kind of, you know, we got a relationship. I, I can relate to Jonah. Amen. You know, and, uh, you know I, I think about when I was playing in sports, and, uh, you know, I, I, I wanted to be a man. Well, but, but you know, you know, you have to put in that, put in that work, and, and coaches give you a playbook, and you have to have studied that playbook in order to to earn a chance to play. Amen. Because see, when you get in the game, you gotta be prepared. You gotta be able to produce. Uh -huh. You know, if not, he send you back to the bench. Uh -huh. I, I, I think that you know us as Christians, we we, we are we are afraid sometimes to to get in the game, uh -huh. to enter the game of life because. We have not studied our playbook, which is our Bible. All right. And, I, and, I, and, 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 and we don't want to go in because we're afraid to fail. Uh, you know, we, 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 we're afraid to get in the game right. and, 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 get in, and get in the game of life and, uh, and fail. Just like sports, we are sometimes hesitant. Mm -hmm. We're hesitant to do this and we're hesitant to, to do that. You know, and, and as Christians, we, we're the same way. We sometimes run off. Uh -huh. We run off, we make excuses. We do all kinds of things and stuff, listen to the word of God. And when God tells us to do something, all we got to do is just move. But what we do, we run off. And I'm going to say this, but I know we don't do it here at St. Paul. Uh, I, I've been places where the, 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 the pastor has a vision. He has a vision that's sucked to him by God. That, that, that God has put on his heart and in, in his mind. And, 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 he, and he shares that vision with the congregation, with his sheep. And, and, and when he's sharing that vision, you know, you, you, some folk want to go with the vision. You got some folk that just get up and leave. Mm. Come on now. They suck their teeth. They, mm. they, they go home. They, they say this and that. Some of them even run off other churches. Mm. But, you know, so, you be, so in essence, you run off, you go into the same thing. You're still being disobedient to God. Mm. Come on now. So, you know, Psalms 119. Uh, 16 says, I will delight myself mm -hmm. in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Uh -huh. So let me explain to you what delight means. It says that a high degree of pleasure right. or enjoyment. Right. Joy. Something that gives great pleasure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and, and see, sometimes we, 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 we get pleasure out of ungodly things. Well, you right. know, right. I, know, I, know I used to get pleasure out of of going to get me a fifth of red. I mean, a PSOP, $40 box. Uh -huh. I, I, I get pleasure out of that. I used to get pleasure. I used to take joy. I used to take delight in it. And I take this thing and I look at it and I say, well, this, this is 
word, this, this scripture is saying that we should take pleasure and take great delight in studying God's word. So that his laws, his statutes, so that when we enter the game of life, that you, that you have some sufferings. You have something to fall back on. So when you enter the game of life, you have something that you may be able to relate to and apply what you have learned. Let's, let, let's take a look at the scripture. Verses 1 through 2. It says, Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for the wickedness has come up before me. Now, the Lord commanded Jonah to, to go to this former nation, which was Nineveh, a nation he knew nothing about. This was strange land to Jonah. He was to go and deliver God's message against the people who were worshiping other God, who were committing the adulterers. That were just doing their own thing. Right they, 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 you know, and I, and I was reading the thing, I can imagine, I'm like, man, I say, God is telling Jonah, you know, Jonah, I need you to go and get my message to some people he don't even know. And I can just imagine, just imagine you, you go on the corner to a drunk who's been drinking all his life, and you tell him, Hey, I need to put the bar down and get it in church. Uh, okay. He gonna look at you like you don't lost your mind. Uh, well, uh, he is strange to him. Yeah, yeah. He don't know you. You don't know him. Uh, so, so John was a little hesitant. Uh -huh. But see, I know that just like me, God, John, God had to have seen something in John that he didn't see in his sister. He had to trust, we got to know trust in the Lord. Yes, yes. And, and, and see, Jonah didn't want to go down to Nine because Nine was a great city, committing all kinds of things. It was a jungle in Nine. Uh -huh. But see, if Jonah had went back and studied his table, uh -huh. he had studied his table, yeah. he would remember that God said, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I said, Fear no evil, for you are with me. So while you are sad, I promise you. See, Jonah had to been studying his table. So God, God told Jonah, I need you to go to this great city and give a message that's sung by me. God said, this message is coming from me. I need you to speak out against their evil and sinful ways. He said, down in the city, they're worshiping other gods. They're talking about Buddha. They're talking about Allah. They're talking about Muhammad. They commit the adultery. They fornicate. They They drink it. They do it all. That are not in the real God. Oh, thank you. So he says, I, I'm ordering you, Jonah. I'm going to tell you, you need to go down to Nine. Nine was doing all kinds of things and worship another God. But we know in God's commandment, he said, Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. And see, he gave a commandment. A commandment, he said, It's a mandate. And so I can just imagine, you know, God getting fed up with down there. With the people down there. Yeah. They, they're still doing all these things and, and he knows that they're not a God. Uh -huh. and, and he's frowning, he's upset. Uh -huh. You know, because our God is a jealous God. Yeah, he's a jealous God. Yeah. And I can see him now. See, he said, you know, thou should have more of God before me. That's just a political verse. Uh -huh. and, and, and you know, he want to be nice. But so I know our God get upset sometimes. He's Get upset with me for being so hard here. I can see him now. He come to the city and say, Thou shall have more of the God before me. I'm the beginning and the end of the Lord of Lords. Lord. I'm the King of Kings. I'm the Alpha and the Omega. I'm the HD and I see. The head God in talk. Of the Lord. Yes. Jonah 
from being disobedient, he just chose to run away. Uh, come on now. To try, she's trying to get away from God. They say, John, John went as far as he could possibly go. He went as far to the east and as far to the west, as far to the south, uh -huh. as far to the north that he could possibly go to try to get away from God. Yeah. Because he was so unwilling to bless God's people. Uh -huh. To deliver God's word. Uh -huh. right Great Great but I, I, I was looking at John, and I said, we kind of relate to each other. Uh -huh. I said, the poor I had on, lost my mind. Uh -huh. And I'm looking at John, I said, John, you must have lost your mind. Uh -huh. You're trying to run here and get away from God? God is on your pressing. He's everywhere. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'm, I'm thinking about this thing, and I'm like, John, if God knew what John was doing before he even thought about doing it. Uh, yeah. You know, and how many of us do things the whole time in our lives and we think we're just getting away with it? Uh, 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 we do all these things and we, we think that everything's okay. It's all right. Inside, mm -hmm. I can get away with it. You know, we were discussing this in Bible study last night. Mm -hmm. We were talking about Las Vegas. And everybody knows to say, what's the saying in Vegas? Amen. Well, those on in Vegas stays in Vegas. My, my. So I mean, all that stuff they're doing in Vegas, the sinning and the adultery, the fornicating, the gambling, the drinking, the lying, the misleading, they're all going down in Vegas. We so happy to our mind, we don't do things. I don't know. You know, I ain't talking about Christian food. Y'all, y'all, you know, y'all, y'all been saved all your life, so y'all, y'all ain't got this on the table, y'all. Uh -huh. I'm talking about the ones that, that, that been down in the gutter, uh -huh. been down in the slop, uh -huh. been down in the dirt from where you came from. Uh -huh. You know, I'm talking about them right there. Uh -huh. I'm talking about them old heathens like me. Uh -huh. Been down there uh -huh. eating with the pigs and, uh -huh. and just doing all kinds of things. You just do these things and say that no one will know about. Uh, uh, but I'm going to tell you, God knows. God knows. He was there whenever you did what you did, and he's going to be up there when you get back home. You open that back key, open up that door in your house, and you open your, your door. Your God will be sitting right on the porch, on the, on the couch, just like this. Uh, right here. Uh, Waiting on you. Yeah. Waiting on you. Uh, See, and I, and I know how y'all think. I know where I Christian from. And my pastor, he teaches me this all the time. See, y'all don't like to believe things. See, you know, we say to, to, to know it's a sin. Sometimes we tend to know it's a sin, but we will commit it over and over again. And then you'll run to the bedroom or in your house and like drop to your knees and say, God, I'm sorry, God. Please forgive me for my sins, God. Just, just, just have mercy on me, God. I, you know, have grace on me, God. But you... You're committing the same sin over and over again. And see, you think that you can keep running back to God. And you know he's a forgiving God, so he keeps getting the chance after chance. Uh -huh, right. He keeps getting the, but you know, he, he should. It shouldn't be that way. Uh -huh. See, I'm gonna tell you something. Y'all ain't gotta believe me that, that that being disobedient and committing sins. You gotta believe me. I got some evidence to prove. Uh, I'm going to Hebrews 10, 26. I just want to read the scripture to you. So you, you, you can take it for what it is. Uh -huh. For if we sin willfully right. after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for your sin. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, that, that's the word of God. I rest my case. Uh -huh. Yeah. I ain't got to explain it to you. I'm going to let you study it for yourself. Study it for people. The story of Jonah goes on to talk about how he resisted and ran in the opposite direction and boarded the ship. And uh, when the ship began to sink in the storm, Jonah realized that it was because of his disobedience. That, that God was calling is causing this ship to just rock and just do all kinds of things and uh -huh. like that's about to tip over. Yeah, right now. So the, 
when the sailors on the ship found out that it was Jonah, they threw him overboard. God had arranged for a big fish to swallow Jonah. But he stayed in the fish's belly for three days and three nights. And, and, and that's how you know, I was there one time too, but the world just had to swallow me up like a beast. Come on, God. And it happened that I, right, man, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't imagine. All right, so, you know, it, it goes on to say, you know, when you're being disobedient and, and, and you're disobeying God's commands, you call other folk to suffer. Right. Well, Mama, I'm sorry. I told my mom that I wasn't going to tell it, but I'm going to go ahead and tell it like it is. <laughs> you know, so you can get the later, Mama. And, and I just think about when I was, when I was out there in the world and I was right. doing all these ungodly oh, things and, I, and, 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 and people were going back to my mama telling us, hey, Miss Lord, your son doing this and your son doing that. And it was stressing out. Come on, man. So I, I walk in the house one night and it's about 12 o'clock. And, and I look up, Daddy, why are we on the couch? He on the couch at 12 o'clock, he's looking at the TV. I said, wait, Mama, was she in the bed? I said, well, why are you in the bed? Look, like, she's stressing over you, so she kicked me on the couch. I said, oh, Lord. So, I said, Daddy, you all right? So he mad with me, but he's so hot with me, he started taking it out on my brother and my sister. So I'm like, Lord, so you know, I just got to give you a little example of how, you know, being disobedient to God's command can, can sometimes put you in a bind. But it makes me, you know, it goes on in the story of John was saying when he was in the bed of a beast, and, uh, he cried out to the Lord. He cried out to the Lord. And so, you know, I understand what he's what he's coming from when you know when you're being disobedient and defiant to God. Cause see, when I'm when I'm sitting on the bench, when he don't put me back on the bench, and I'm, I'm sitting over here, and I'm, I'm going through this and I'm, I'm going through that. I was down there in the belly of the world. And I didn't have no choice but to cry out to God. Cry out. My God, my God. God, I'm sorry, God. God, I need you, God. God, I, I know I was doing wrong, God. God, but God, you can just, just hear me now, God. God, just hear me, God. God, I know I was out there fornicating, God. God, I know I was out there hormoning, God. God, I know I was out there selling drugs, God. God, I, I know I was out there drinking and lying, God. Thank you. 
But I'm not questioning at all. But God, I, I just, I got a question, God. God, I got a question. And, and if you go out there with me, because I'm, I'm not, trust me, I'm not questioning you, God. I'm not questioning you, your word, God. God, God, I, I, I'm, I got a little more excited, God. And, and see, I need to receive some validation, God. I just want to ask you, God. God, so now, God, that I'm in the game, If you're studying your playbook, uh -huh. like I commanded you to do, uh -huh. you wouldn't have to ask. Uh -huh. You wouldn't have to ask. Uh -huh. If you get any kind of misunderstanding, go back to the book. Go back to the book. <laughs> and then if you still don't get an understanding, you call on me and I'll give you all the understanding. Right. Right. I will reply to God, yes sir. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. I got the message loud and clear. So I'm um, sending it to God and sometimes I need you to go back in the game and do what I commanded you to do. Yes, but see, I was so excited that I was getting ready to go. I don't jump in the game and so I got to take off the wall up top. So I got to get in the game. I got I to gotta get with my, my head right. I got to get myself psyched out for the Lord. Because see, when you're in the game and you're playing it out, my point guard there tell you, you be playing it out, yeah, you have to get yourself psyched up because the enemy is in front of you. So I'm in the game and I got to get myself psyched up. And I, I'm depending on God to see what he's doing. And I'm standing strong. I'm thanking God. I, I thank you for picking me up, God. God, I thank you for turning me around. God. I thank you for setting my feet on solid ground, God.
excuses. You, you even messed up it and got put back on the bench once you were in the game. But God is looking down your queue right now. Looking at you and saying, I, I think you might be ready. I think you're ready to sin. But now you're going to have to get up off of that bench. Come up out of that pew. And come and kneel down here at the altar. Who did it again? John ran as far as he could run. He ran as far as he could run. God said, go to Nineveh and John ran the other direction. But there's somebody today, you've been in Nineveh far too long. You've been in the bed of the world. Well, we pray that you were blessed by our ministry at St. Paul TV. St. Paul TV is a production of the Media and Technology Ministry of St. Paul AME Church, 85 Martin Luther King Avenue, St. Augustine, Florida. And if you were blessed, I want you to go and make a difference in this world. Make God proud of you. If you have a church home, go and make a difference in your church. If you're in need of a church home, a place to where you can be nourished and fed, I ask that you strongly consider making St. Paul AME Church your church home. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Now, if you believe in reaping and sowing, we invite you to be financial partners with St. Paul AMB Church. This is good ground. And if you'd like to sow into this ministry, please visit our website at stpaulfamily.com and click on the Make a Contribution list. Remember, no matter where you have been, where you are, or where you're going, there is a place for you at St. Paul AMB Church.